Hi everyone, it's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. Um, we're now on page 7. All we have left is page 8. And then I wanted to show you how to, on the inside back cover, I'm going to do a pull down waterfall. And I know that so many of you asked about it. So I really want to do it with you. So hopefully um, you don't mind. <laughs> um, here is page six and it's three flaps, three flaps that cascade and one, two, three, and then a big page. And I have the big clasp magnet thing going on there. Um, and that was the page before. I'm showing you this because we just did it, but also because I want you to see that, like I've told you, I always have to make them match. Like they have to be cohesive, at least to me. So this one is now done. Yay. And let's get ready for this guy. This is page seven, like I just said, and it is a blank page. Make sure your openings are to the side. This page will go here. This is a belly bands. And um, it will be put on, what did I write here? The size, score top and bottom. And then there will be a little flap on top of this as well, just for fun. Why not? And that piece. So, first thing is, I think I want to put the paper inside of the belly band. Do I have tape on both sides? No. I'm going to add glue, I think, and do that. Okay, so the belly band is three and three quarters by seven and one eighth. And the seven and one eighth is long because we score half an inch on the top and the bottom. Three and three quarters across. You can punch both sides like I did or just leave it however you'd like. Um, and then we're going to add the flap before we add this piece of paper, which will then mean the magnet and this magnet will both be attached. So, okay, let's start with this guy. So I have a grid, as you know, it's always right in front of me. Sometimes it is quite helpful. That's a half, that's an inch and a half there. And wow, I did pretty good. That's exactly where it should be. So, all right, wow. Do you see there are three squares and three squares? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Sometimes stuff just works out. I have to make sure I'm still having three and three. I am. Okay. I'm going to add glue because in case I needed to move it was the reason why. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Not, I'm not even adding that much because we will be adding plenty. when we glue this down. Dokey, right? Super. 
little now when it's stuck down that won't pop up anymore it's popping up because of the paper yay okay well that worked out better than I ever thought it would good for us right yay okay let's take off our tape backing and then add the glue and glue it down and add our little teeny flap it's just a tiny flap I just thought it was just fun adding even more interaction to the page you know this is if this is your first album I still wanted you to be able to make it snazzy and do lots of fun things you know I didn't want to just give you a pretty much just a a quick easy not that much cool stuff special things I wanted to give you something that would really teach you good fun things and would also make you really happy so I hope that that is what I've been giving you I really do now the the big crazy thing Oh, so close so close a little further on that side yes thank you awesome huh when a plan comes together it's super awesome Yes, I think so. I love it when a plan comes together. Now this little flap, it's only three and a half by two and seven eighths. And when you score this, it's only three inches. But you can journaling or a note or a little picture, stuff like that. So this guy is going to go here. And we'll put him there first and then we'll attach the magnets so again three and three quarters by seven and one eighth score a half of an inch on the top and the bottom making it six and one eighth and you can punch on both sides if you'd like like I did or whatever you'd like now this one like we said three and a half by two and seven eighths and score a half inch on the three and a half side which will make it three inches and I added a little punched border on the bottom so we'll add these flaps and then magnets then paper and this page will be done I don't want to sit here and say oh look how fast it is because then 10 things will go sideways and it'll be the longest page so yes I took all the tape off mm -hmm. because you've made me brave I feel brave Is it straight? It seems straight. On the top it's straight. Is it straight? Well, push it in, push this down here, and magnets. Okay. Magnets, magnets. 
magnets. Two magnets. One, yeah, uh, two. One, two. Let's see, there's a magnet somewhere. It was fighting me, so I flipped it over to change the polarity so that it will just chill and hang out here instead of fighting me to go flip itself over. I am now cutting a piece of tape. I can't let go of that because if I do, it'll flip itself over. That's what we're trying not to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, I should probably put it on the other side. So let's instead start with this backwards. Well, it's not really backwards, it's just on the back side. Good, good, good. And cut another piece of tape for the other magnet. Lovely. Yeah, no, there is no nothing on the other side, so I don't know what it was pulling to. Oh, there's more magnets over here. That makes sense. It was trying to escape. Run. I have to stop escaping my magnets. They do all the time, though. Okay, this guy is awesome. Let's put this piece on. I want to see which way it goes. That looks right. And so does this. And I think I like this way better. So that's what we're going to go with. It's got like a distressed look in the pattern, which is awesome. This paper is so cute. And it was a really cute whole set. And I really thought it would be fun for this project. I almost slid it right off the other side. Not cool. It wouldn't have been cool for real. Okay. As I've said about a kajillion times, I do not have paper for the back. Yet, and last will be this piece that goes right here. Wow. Awesome. Let's remove this here. Add some glue to you. And to you.
think it's looking awesome. Oh, oh, there you go. I wanted to pull it down just a touch. I'm good. I think it looks awesome. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 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 That was super quick and super awesome. And when we come back, we will be on page eight. Uh, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Stay awesome. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Daniela, and this is page eight, the last actual page in my mini album, six and a half by six and a half slash six by six mini album tutorial, the last actual page. I still would like to do the inside front and back cover, maybe behind, I don't know. Let's do this one and take it from there. So this page started off as something else, I thought, and then turned itself into something different. I wanted the pocket on the side, but if I do that, I really can't do flaps because, well, I made this piece of paper go like this, and I can't turn the pattern. I could put this one sideways on top of it, but I don't know, that just might look weird. I don't know, I feel like it needs more and then this can't go like this because they're sideways. So I have to put the pocket on the bottom. This is not the worst thing ever, so not a biggie. So this guy, the big page, goes first. I meant the big flap goes first because he's going to go here. Then the paper. I don't know if this paper is meant to fit inside this pocket. Let us see. I think the pocket is too small. Yeah, it doesn't really fit. could cut some off, but then it'll be too small and the matting won't, won't be good on the page. Therefore, this guy is going to go on top of this. It's just the way it is. Yeah, because he'll kind of be a little more centered because there's room on both sides. Okay, so let's put part A and Here's the weird thing. The magnet wouldn't go here. The magnet would have to go here. Let's just see what happens here. This would end up taking three magnets. I don't know, unless this guy can go on there. I need a magnet there. Ugh. I hate it when a plan doesn't come together. <laughs> okay, and what we can do, go back to plan A and put a sideways pocket with a sideways flap. And I think that will work. Awesome. Let's go with that. Let's do that. What do you say? What do you say? Awesome. I hope. Sometimes you got to roll on the fly. I'm looking at my scraps to see if I have another scrap that might work, but I don't. They're all, I don't have that many, but they're all like this 
rectangular and thin. They're not big. I'd have to cut another piece of paper. And I don't know that I want to do that. So with the red and the Okay. <laughs> also can't put it upside down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got that. We've got this guy who is going to be going that way. And then we have this piece that will go this way. I think it's awesome. And that's where we're going. That's what we got. Mm -hmm. This we will save because I don't know where else I could use it. If I can find somewhere else, I will. Um, okay, so first order flap. Second order paper. Third magnets. Fourth pretty paper. All right. Take this guy off and we're just going to eyeball it. We're not going to, yep, I think you saw, pull it right off. You guys have given me bravery. Just like the cowardly lion. Okay. Looks awesome. Okay. Right, right. Okay. Open up our glue because the other magnet won't be on this pocket. It won't be under here. Okie dokie. Add some glue. Really do. Mm -hmm. getting very excited. The book is almost done. Might just be done when I actually want it to be done. Or not, but we will see. Nothing to lose. If it isn't, then it isn't. Gotta watch our um, flap there. Don't want to touch it. Not touching. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it. Okay, who's next? What's up? Okay, you are going to get stuck to here next. Let's get you un. Un. I was going to say taped, but that wouldn't be right because you're still going to be taped. Un. Tape. Um. <laughs> tape backing. Uh, uh, there you go. I, I don't know if that's a word. If it's a sort of a word. If it could be considered a word. I don't know. Okay. One more. One more. Got you. Got you. Push these guys down. Helps nothing get hung up on the bottom flap in the pocket. And now, huh, 
I'm going to turn you like that so I can see. And then we will go over all of these measurements because I'm realizing that I didn't do that already. I seem to have started but stopped. Okay, so this first flap, or only flap now, is six by four and three quarters across for half an inch on the six inch side. So it's six inches long by four and three quarters wide. Score half an inch on the six inch side. This would be five and a half then. And then we punched it. Let me just measure that. Yeah, that's what it is. Making sure that was the half an inch. And then we have a pocket that is three inches by seven and a quarter. It would be seven and an eighth, obviously. Seven and an eighth. Not like it matters, it's getting covered up, but seven and an eighth because it's a half an inch on both sides four flaps and this would be three inches but now it would be two and a half because we also scored there yep and it is two and a half I think this punch barely takes an eighth of an inch off so three inches by seven and an eighth a half an inch on all three sides so we need some magnets we need to put one here Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Magnets, magnets. Got them. Two magnets. Two tapes. Magnets are like super stuck together. Making sure I'm more than two. I told you they're one millimeter thick. How can anybody even... Hell. So small. Right, so I put it there. All right, we're going to put it over here because I'm hoping to avoid both. Um, both areas of dots. I think I'm saying hoping. Okay, well, that's not where I wanted it. It's way too far over. Get off. <laughs> oh boy, that mm -hmm. 47th time is the charm, I hope. Right, where's the darn magnet? It's there. Okay. Thank you. Super. Always squish from there to there so you don't get a lump, a bubble. A bump, a lump. Hey, awesome, super great. Everybody's good. I also think I told you I was going back and forth, but the way that this pocket is so perfectly within the the border, I think it was definitely meant to be on the side. And I guess I just messed up thinking 
that the um, with that other piece of paper. I don't know. Like I said that's the problem when you design and do stuff far in advance. Then you mess it up later. Maybe not everybody, but I do. I have. I did. And that's sort of what goes on, what went on here. For the most part, I was able to get it back together, though, I think. I did a decent job of figuring it out. Luckily, I had written some of it down before I made it, like ideas I had that I wanted all the pages to be different. And I was writing down like ideas for things that would make everybody be like, oh, that's so awesome that I can do that. And yet be easy enough for you to really do. I don't think any of this is hard to do, even if it was, I don't know, something else. If you want to know how to do something, anything, any specific page, any specific thing you've seen me put in a book, just tell me and I'll make sure to show you how. I don't want to remove it, but it's a little bit tall. <sighs> a little bit tall. Oh my heck, look what happened. Everybody don't panic. I'm not panicking, don't panic. Nobody panic. Oh, okay, you're not panicking, it's just me? All right, well, that sounds right. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, if I didn't finish saying what I was saying, if there's ever anything you want to see me make or want to know how to do, just tell me, and I will be thrilled to show you how. To show you, to teach you, to help you, to whatever because you're all awesome and none of this is too difficult to teach when it comes to book binding and you know coptic stitch and things that's hard but i could still teach it okay cool now we're good we are good oh my heck it's the last one, and it's this guy, and then we will return back to our book cover. Okay, this definitely goes like this. Back to the cover of the book, and do those inside covers. That's all I'm thinking. The one inside the cover is just a card. The other one, I know people have asked for me to show them the pull down eek waterfall. So that I have to show. It wouldn't be fair not to. And it is so silly easy. that you guys will learn it in one minute and then have this really cool thing to add to your card making, book making, scrapbooking, any and all arsenal. Does it go this way? I'm going to be so mad if it goes the other way. It goes the other way, but it's okay.
Straighten it up a little bit, making sure we're all in good shape. Everybody's looking good. Yep. And there it is. Yay. Opens up, closes up, and the page that goes next to it. Oh no, no page goes next to it because it's um the back cover is gonna go next to it. So that is that. Now you've got page eight, and I will see you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um both videos. This little guy here and this big belly band here. And this big flap. And this guy. Oh, side pocket. Love a side pocket. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, everyone. Bye.